Why do you always do that to me? We are making cheesecake today. I'm mm -hmm. so excited because I have tried several different recipes and I'm going back to my tried and true recipe that I used to do in the oven and now I do in the Instant Pot. So I am starting off with a shortbread crust. Um, I have tried using shortbread brought in, bought in the store. Brought in. <laughs> bought in the store and just coming home and putting it through the, um, what's that thing called? Food processor. <laughs> You're the food processor and um, just adding a little bit more butter to it and creating a crust that way. But I was at our local grocery store recently and they don't sell the shortbread that I like anymore. So I'm just gonna make a very simple shortbread crust. This recipe is for a nine inch pan, but because I'm putting it in an instant pot, I only have a seven inch spring form that will fit in the instant pot. Um, but I'm keeping the full recipe for the crust because my family likes crust. So this will be an added bonus for each slice they have. Oh yeah. <laughs> in my mixer, I have half a cup of butter and a quarter cup of sugar. You may have noticed that it's not white granulated sugar. It's um, the organic uh, sugar cane sugar, which my impression is that it's a little bit healthier than refined granulated sugar, but use whatever you have and whatever you're comfortable with. The butter has been softened and I'm just going to beat this until the butter and sugar is creamed. And it would help if I actually plug in the mixer. All right, let's try that again. Take two. So that is creamed sugar and butter. I'm just gonna scrape this off the beater. Scrape the sides. And a little bit of flour. So just one cup of flour. And we're just gonna stir that in until forms a crumbly mixture. So that's crumbly enough. And we're just gonna pour this into our pan. You can line it with parchment paper if you like, but I find that with this particular pan, because it's grooved on the inside, um, and the shortbread is already quite buttery that it'll just slip off anyway, so. So you just want to press it evenly. And sometimes it helps to put, um, to use a glass. You can take a bottom of a glass and just press in. And press in on the sides as well. There, it's nice and even. I'm gonna stick this in the fridge for 10 minutes before putting it in my oven for 15 minutes at 400 degrees. That should do. And then we'll work on our cheesecake filling. Okay. You did it again, didn't you? Yep. Now we're making the cream cheese filling and I'm going to be making a lemon cheesecake. So, just one package of cream cheese and I have all of my ingredients at room temperature. And this is important because you don't want a lumpy cheesecake. This cheesecake is a little bit finicky in that Every addition that you're adding to this cheesecake, you're only beating for about 30 seconds and no more. Because if you overbeat cheesecake, it doesn't turn out well. I don't know what the science is behind that, but let's just follow the instructions and beat for only 30 seconds. So that was 30 seconds, and then you're gonna scrape down the sides. Seems like a lot of work but it really isn't. And you'll get the creamiest cheesecake ever. 
This is my favorite recipe ever. Really, truly, and I've tried a lot. All right. Now we're going to add the sugar in a stream, and again, you don't want to beat more than 30 seconds. All right, again, scraping the beater and scraping down the sides. You're scraping down the sides to make sure that everything is incorporated well. I'm gonna add sour cream, half at a time. If I can get the lid off, so it can just half. 30 seconds. Scraping the sides again. Adding the rest of the sour cream. It's a fairly easy recipe, seeing as it's just one package of cream cheese, one package of sour cream, one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla, and half a cup of sugar. And that's basically it. But because I'm making it with lemon, today I'm going to be adding lemon juice and lemon zest. Okay, another 30 seconds. You can see how smooth it is already. Next is the egg. 30 seconds. Scraping down the bowl again. I use the zest. I want, these are like giant lemons. Do you see this? I don't even know where they're from. Put it beside uh, your head. But I have a small head. Oh. So it looks like super big. Anyways. I'm going to say a zest of one lemon, maybe one normal lemon would be enough, but because we like things lemony anyways, this is, it might actually work really well for us. I'm filming. <laughs> well, thanks for letting me know. I'm filming. All right, let's see. No, it's actually not bad. I was expecting it to have like a really thick skin and dry on the inside, but this is neither. So I'm going to juice this and see how much comes out. And did you know that if you juice your lemons or limes at room temperature, you get more juice? No way! No way, and I'm not sure why that is because it's just the same fruit, right? So we want about two tablespoons. This one. Wow, well, half of that lemon gave like tablespoons. Oh my timer went off. And one teaspoon of vanilla. And then we're just going to stir that in there. And again no more than 30 seconds. Okay I'm making some foil slings. It's just some aluminum foil that I folded up and I'm going to hook my um, this is called trivet so that it's easier to come out. A lot of people have some different ways of getting their um, trivet out when it's a tight fit, but this will work just fine for me. I have about a cup of water in there that I put my trivet in. I have finished mixing my cheesecake filling. I'm just going to scrape the sides again, make sure that everything is nicely incorporated in there. And the batter is super smooth. I have my crust already made and it's cooled down. And I'm going to pour the batter in. Okay, so I'm just going to, in case there are any air bubbles. And that's it. And we're going to put that into this and pop it. Okay, the so last time I made this, I also found that it um, there was a lot of liquid water on top, so I'm going to put a lid on it. I have these silicone lids that will fit nicely, but you can just cover it with foil, and that will be fine. And this will also stop the foil from getting into your cheesecake. I'm going to put the lid on, making sure that the sealing valve is on sealing. 
I'm going to manually set to 25 minutes. And that's it. I will have the script available on um, the app for smart users. And now we're just waiting for our cheesecake to be done. It took about 10, 15 minutes to come to pressure. And now we're done um, after 25 minute cook time. So I'm just going to quick release the steam. I'm pushing it the wrong way, aren't I? Oh, good thing. Water poured right on top of the lid. So carefully lift this out. You can see that there's a lot of liquid on top. It's quite liquidy in the middle still. Well, I'm going to put it back in for another 10 minutes or so. Grr. Last time it only took 25 minutes, so I don't know what's wrong. We'll see what happens. I'm putting it back in. All right, let's try this again. Oh no, my lid is stuck. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, we want it to be mostly cooked in just the center wiggly. Jiggly. Jiggly, wiggly, jiggly. I think that might actually be okay. It's mostly set and that's what we want. Now we're going to wait for this to cool down to room temperature and then it has to sit in the fridge for at least four hours or overnight. And since it's so late in the day, it's going to be overnight. So I will see you tomorrow. We're on, aren't we? Yep. All right. Much to the disappointment of my family, we had to keep the cheesecake in the fridge overnight. Boo. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> so now it's set. You're going to film it down here. Looks great. As you see, it's already released itself from around the edge. And I'm just going to open it up now. Mm, looks good. Let's take this piece off right here and eat it. Yummy. I'm going to transfer it onto the pedestal here. Okay, I'm going to slice into it. I'm going to move it closer, otherwise I'm going to drop it. It's super creamy. It's still extra creamy in the middle, but most of it is set, which is just fine. I'm serving it with a raspberry sauce. You can decorate your cheesecake however you like. And that's it. Super easy process in the Instant Pot. Otherwise, it would have taken me over 55 minutes in the oven with a, a water bath as well. So this makes it much easier to have cheesecake more often than we should. And I'm gonna have a bite. A little bit, my perfect bite. A little bit of blueberry as well. Mmm. Super creamy. Just enough tartness. It's delicious. So if you like this recipe or you like this video, I hope that you'll click like. And if you don't already subscribe, please subscribe to my channel so that you'll be notified of new videos and follow me on Instagram. Hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Yeah. It seems not supposed to hurt, but it did. Human error. User error. It's really safe. Really. It is. <laughs>